So in the month of September, I have set myself a little challenge to just shoot digicams and digital in general and no film. So in today's video, I am just gonna give you a little update on how that's going for me run through some of the cameras that I've been using and a few sneak peeks at the shots. I will be doing more in-depth videos on these cameras in the month of October when I share more of my Digicam journey with you. So if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that I started off with this Canon Ixus Digicam and since then I have moved on to better Digicams, I would say. I shared a little bit about this Sony Cybershot in a recent video and I have enjoyed using it and it's really cool and fun, but the photos are kind of like average it has that more lo-fi kind of look and feel to it, which is really fun, but it's kind of like a burner camera in my opinion. I thrifted this Sony Cybershot, which is a bit newer than the other one, but sadly it is not working. I bought a battery and everything for it, but it just beeps. I think the lens might be jammed and like film cameras, these digicams can be pretty temperamental and you're never sure when you thrift it, if it's gonna work. I will hang on to the battery as if I see another one of these, it will come in handy. Now let's get into the good stuff. So the Canon PowerShot G2. I was so happy to receive this from Ali of the channel One Month Two Cameras, which I feel like I'm talking about all the time, but her channel is super awesome and covers all things Digicams. She sent me this as an early birthday present. You might've seen it on my Instagram. And this camera has like cult status in the Digicam world. Uh, Sophie of the Instagram page and Discord group Digicam Love this was her first Digicam and what made her really fall in love and kind of see that these cameras were something special. Since posting it on Instagram, I've had a lot of people message me saying they remember buying this new back in the day for like a thousand dollars, which really shocked me because it seems so kind of like chunky and clunky and like it would never have been that amount of money. But since shooting with it, I can really see why it was that price back in the day because the photos are Honestly, so good for like a four megapixel camera. You just blown away with like what you can get. So you can shoot raw with this camera, but we've been putting it on auto and just shooting JPEGs and straight out of camera, they look so good. But I will share more on that when I do a video specifically on the G2 and my experience with it, because I have so much to say. So this camera came in the box with all the accessories, which is definitely the way to go with Digicams because then you know that you've got all of the bits and pieces that you need. It came with this um, 32 megabyte memory card, which holds 24 photos, I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of like shooting film and you can turn the LCD screen around and then use the optical viewfinder, which is um, really good too, because some of them aren't so good. And yeah, you can basically shoot it like you would a film camera, which I think is a fun thing to do. And I'm gonna try that um, in the last week of September as part of my challenge. At the moment, I have a bigger memory card in there just so I can like snap away and shoot and have fun. I actually kind of like having a lot of shots when I'm shooting Digicams, because for me, it's a novelty. I'm used to like the restraints of film, but I do really wanna try and do the like film camera challenge with this and see how it goes and share it with you guys. Um, I also got this cool strap, which is an early birthday present. I'm just getting all my birthday presents early. I'll have nothing to open. Um, it's by Double Film, like the guys that make film. And like, it kind of looks like a little bit cheap, but I kind of like that uh, vibe. And I think the colors are really cool. And it just breaks away from that like usual black kind of thing. So yeah, and it's got some Peak Design lugs on it, but I will link everything below if you want to um, check those out. So next up is this Fuji X20, which my partner bought about eight years ago when they came out new for $400. And when you look online, they have like doubled in price. Like a, a digital camera, like appreciating in value is super rare and I can see why. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail of why I love this camera because I will do a video on it, but the manual zoom is just like a total game changer. Like the ergonomics of the camera and using it are just so good. I just absolutely love this. And the shots that I got back, I was like, I could totally see myself using this really often. So back to Canon, I have the Canon G2 and a friend has lent me this Canon G9, which is obviously a later model. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, it kind of looks like a Ricoh GR3. And that makes me want to shoot it. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks really cool. It looks a lot more and feels a lot more like a digital camera as opposed to like the bulky kind of vibe and feel of the G2 that I really love. But yeah, I'm looking forward to shooting this and sharing the results with you guys. 
Back again to Fuji Film. I am not holding it because I am filming on it. And that is the X-T4. I did do a video on this like way back at the start of the channel. I adapted some vintage lenses to it and like gave it a go, but I didn't have the best time, just like the focus peaking and there's a lot of settings and it's quite heavy and it's really expensive. And kind of in my mind that just like makes me freeze up and worry about using it. So I feel a lot more comfortable with the other cameras that I've shown you, but I would really like to try and utilize like this obviously amazing like camera for photography and not just for video. Two little wheels. Oh, God. <laughs> oh and then like, the battery the fits in. The other thing that I wanted to share because batteries have become like such a thing in my life now that I'm using all these digicams is this universal battery charger for like lithium batteries or camera batteries. Um, I haven't probably tried it yet. So if you have used one or you know anything about them, comment below and let me know. But it's really cool. Like you can just sort of like slide this across and then there's these um, little kind of things you can move here so it can fit like any battery. Um, and then, yeah, just pop it in and it'll charge it up. I'm not sure if they're bad for your batteries, but having just like one universal charger is better than having like all different ones. Um, so I will link it below if you wanna check it out and I'll let you know in future videos how I go with this one. So that is my current lineup. That's what I'm shooting with. Keep an eye out for more Digicam content coming in October where I'll do like videos on specific cameras and share like a photo walk and photos with them and stuff. Do not fear if you were like, hey, I thought this was Lucy Lumen's Analog Adventures, not Lucy Lumen's Digicam Adventures. I will be back to shooting film in October as it is my 30th birthday and I'll be going away on a trip. So I'll be shooting my Pen FT and probably a bunch of other film cameras. So stay tuned for all of that. I think that shooting Digicams is a great way to like save a little bit of money. Like for the whole month, I've just been shooting Digicams. So that's saved a lot of money on film and developing and I think it's something that we kind of like all need right now. Plus it's been a lot warmer here. So we've been like heading out to the beach, going to the park. And I think Digicams kind of like lend themselves more to that style of shooting than the slower like film kind of camera vibe. If you would like to support the channel and everything I do and keep me shooting film, then you can buy me a coffee. The links are below. You can also sign up to my Patreon where you'll get like sneak peeks to photos and you also get my podcast episodes two days early as well. If you are still skeptical on Digicams and you're not really vibing it, then watch this video here and hear my five reasons why you need a Digicam in 2022. Thanks guys, bye.